What's going on, everybody? Your man, Eric Wilson, Sports Arena here with you today. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we talk about what goes on on the field. We discuss and give our thoughts and analytics and our opinions on who's doing great and why and people you should look out for. But today, we're actually going to introduce a gentleman who has been doing a lot of, well, he still does on the field work. But what I will say is his talent is truly something that people need to pay attention to. Before I get to him and our special, my special guest, of course, it ain't the sports arena if I don't bring in my big dog to join me today, Mr. Alex Fleming. Alex, sir, how are you? What's going on, brother? I'm good. I'm happy. Focused. It's week seven in the NFL. And every now and then. week six. Why are you jumping ahead? It's only week six. It's week seven. I it is? It's week seven. All right, fine. Week seven. I, I, you know, I don't care anymore because my season is whatever. But yeah, week seven. Go ahead. With that being said, uh, there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes, and people don't get the gratitude or the respect that they deserve. But you know what? There's still people that read articles, read magazines, and open up newspapers. And when you see something that's captivating, that catches your eye, you're wondering, wow, that's a hell of a shot. Let's introduce the man who gives you some of those shots that keeps you focused and paying attention. Enter in Derek Davis. How's it going, guys? How are you doing, Mr. Davis? How are you today? Doing well, doing well. Um, Mr. Davis, can you let the people know uh, what you do? Um, I'm actually a sports editor at a uh, local newspaper. Uh, I kind of do a little bit of everything. I, uh, you know, write, you know, photography is kind of how, you know, we, we've met, uh, you know, doing photos. Uh, I kind of do, you know, page layout. So a little bit of everything. So you're an NFL photographer. Uh, how long have you been taking pictures of the NFL? Uh, NFL is actually uh, fairly recently. So these are, um, you know, some of my, uh, you know, kind of first forays into the NFL stuff. Um, like I said, I've just been uh, kind of in journalism now for uh, seven, eight years. So, um, you know, I've just honed experience over time. I've been taking photos pretty much that entire time and, um Really, yeah. One of the uh, situations that, or the opportunity that presented itself, was uh, the Lions. Uh, Tracy Walker, of course, uh, Brunswick High um, native. That's where I'm currently stationed in Brunswick, Georgia. And um, him coming down to play uh, the Jags near home uh, was a good opportunity to go down there and try to, you know, get some photos with him uh, specifically too. So, uh, you know, just really kind of worked out, you know, well in my favor there. Derek, uh, go ahead, sir. Oh no, no. Uh, that, that's exactly what I was going to ask him, Alex. So great minds think alike. But yeah, Derek, how did you get your start? Um, it kind of just worked out of being the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, going into college at uh, Valdosta State, where I graduated, um, I uh, you know knew I wanted to be involved in sports in some way, but um, I wasn't positive the the capacity. Uh, you know, first starting out, um, I kind of actually started in the athletic training uh, program and moved into exercise physiology at one point. And finally, you know, not really feeling satisfied with that, you know, again, thought, how, how am I going to kind of make sports work for me in a way that, you know, I wanted to, and, you know, figured I enjoy talking about it. So maybe I should try writing about it. And, um, you know, that turned out well, I, I found interest in that. And, then when I had about uh, probably a year and a half left of school, a uh, position opened up at the uh, local newspaper, Valdosta Daily Times, and, um, you know, really just jumped on that, and they needed somebody, and I was willing to, you know, try to do the, the double, you know, effort doing college and, uh, you know, that job, and it really paid off well. Of course, Valdosta is a uh, fairly national brand as far as high school, you know, sports goes, the uh, the most winningest high school in the nation, and, um, you know, it, it turned out to be a, a good place to start my career off so have the jags had open arms and just you know just was happy to let you in and how hard is it catching that glimpse on the sideline when you see something special about to happen yeah uh the jags they, they were fairly um you know it, it wasn't that hard of a process to go about getting uh a credential and everything uh to go shoot um I'm not sure if pandemic you know maybe played a role in that. I don't know, uh, you know, if maybe the, uh, there were less people trying to go. And of course, Jack's not being great either. I'm sure they're not necessarily a, a hot spot for, you know, the, uh, the average, 
journalists to come cover them for uh for just you know national reasons but um you know so i just applied for that and kind of doing double duty it was you know interesting like i said i write my own stories and shoot my own photos so you know i had a spot in the press box um and also you know applied for you know photography vest and was able to go down and you know shoot some photos and uh really like i said the uh the kind of the aspect of getting the, the photo i think is just a lot of experience of you know, watching football, honestly, and kind of, you know, knowing what to look out for. Uh, NFL, honestly, was easier than some of the other, you know, high school sports because, you know, guys can hang a ball in the air for, you know, 40 yards and it, like, it gives you plenty of time to, to get over. Uh, I think you, you know, showed that interception picture by the Lions, you know, it, a deep pass. I had plenty of time to, to see the route coming and get over on top of it. And it was, you know, pretty much easy after that point. Yeah, talking with the NFL photographer, Mr. Derek Davis. So that is a question that I always am curious about when it comes to being a photographer. How do you know like where to be to get that ideal shot? Is it just knowing and understanding how the game is played? Do you have any actual, have you played football? So you kind of can understand schemes a little bit because I mean, just in the three shots that that you have provided to us, and thank you for those, you know, that really showed, you know, you just being exactly where you needed to be to capture that moment. So what's the pro what's that process look like? Yeah, I think it's really um, just knowing uh, the teams you cover, honestly, I think is a, a, the biggest part of it. Um, I've had years where I've covered, you know, teams that didn't have, did not have a good offense. So, you know, I wasn't worried about going 10, 15 yards down, you know, past the, the play because most likely they, they weren't, you know, going to get that far on one play. So I kind of stuck closer to the line of scrimmage, uh, you know, look for plays in the backfield, you know, running backs coming out of the, the backfield and stuff like that. Um, you know, then when you have teams that are, you know, better offensive units, you know, that they're going to air it out more. So, you know, maybe when they cross the 50, you want to go ahead and, you know, get behind the, uh, the end zone. And, you know, that way you have players come in towards you and just things like that are kind of important to work out. You know, if there's a player that they like going to in a certain spot, you know, you might want to go ahead and get ready to, to focus on that guy. And really, again, I think it's just a, uh, you know, constant uh kind of learning um you know and that right there and sometimes it's just luck you know uh with the uh, um deandre swift play i you know happened to be in the right place at the right time i was shooting pictures of them coming into the end zone and you know he saw some cameras and you know wanted to pose so he, he you know, <laughs> looked directly into my camera and you know gave it a little peace sign or the two touchdowns so the two um, touchdowns yeah yeah so it, you know it's a combination of kind of you know trying to position yourself in the best place to then get lucky and, you know, have the action come to you. Um, Speaking of that, how often have you caught yourself back in the day? Because experience plays a toll. How often did you catch yourself running to try to catch a picture or trying to put yourself in position so that way you don't have to run to get the camera frame that you want? Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it definitely happens where, you know, your sprint, I mean, even now with experience, I mean, there's some things you just, you know, you, you can't necessarily predict uh, ahead of time, you know, a, a interception, you know, return, usually pick six or one of the tougher ones because I'm kind of closer to, you know, the, the end zone, usually if it's a longer return, it's, uh, you know, let's say like an 80 yard uh, interception return. I'm kind of in the opposite end zone waiting for the offense to score. And, you know, a guy picks it off and takes it the other way. And, you know, I'm basically left shooting their back. So, uh, you know, there's sometimes that it, it you know, it, it's difficult to, get in the right play and I may sprint down the sideline to try to, you know, get maybe a few shots of a celebration or something. But, uh, you know, it's, there's only so much, like you say, prep work you can do, and then you kind of got to let, you know, look take over at that point. What's your future ambition? Uh, one day, uh, really, I would love to just get paid to talk sports. Uh, you know, I, I have a opinion on, you know, different national sports, you know, different. You still there? Um, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to our world. That's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, where we're at right now. So, hey, welcome to the sports arena, my brother. You are you have an open invitation. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's I'm a I'm a bit of a uh, you know transplant fan in a sense where I was a military or an Air Force brat growing up. So, um, you know, I don't have any necessarily regional ties to you know a group of teams. I uh, kind of have developed different fanships over you know, different years for different reasons. Like, you know, I was originally born in Tampa, so I am a Buccaneers fan, but, you know, Trace McGrady was the guy who got me into basketball. So I'm a Houston Rockets fan. So it's, uh, 
you know, not necessarily con- conducive to sitting in Brunswick, Georgia and like, hey, you know, James Harden gets too much, you know, flack for, you know, losing to the war. Yeah, the people in South Georgia necessar- don't necessarily care about here in the Rockets. So, uh, you know, I'd love to get to a point where I'm sitting on a national stage and, you know, have people who care to hear those opinions. And, you know, I love to get feedback on my opinions. I don't want to be necessarily just right all the time. I'd love to discuss it with people. And so, yeah, that, that's hopefully, uh, you know, where I can get one day. Last question. How would it feel to be in Tampa shooting the Super Bowl? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be, uh, it'd be fantastic. Uh, you know, just being in the hometown, getting to see the Bucks, you know, play again. Um, you know, a little bit about, like I said, kind of having being, uh, you know, a fan of various teams, you know, throughout the years. Um, you know, growing up, I was a, a 49ers fan. My, my dad was a big, you know, 49ers fan. He loved Jerry Rice. So, you know, growing up, that, that was my favorite player, Jerry Rice. And, uh, I actually wasn't completely, you know, into football at that point when the Buccaneers played in their first Super Bowl uh, against the Raiders. So I was actually uh, more so pulling for Jerry Rice and the Raiders to win that game. And uh, so I feel like as a Bucs fan, I didn't really get to experience the high of, uh, you know, the, the fanhood necessarily. So just from that perspective, honestly, it'd be incredible to kind of be in that, you know, arena and knowing what that represents, you know, knowing I've sat through, 13 years of bad football to, to hopefully you know, get to that point. So, <laughs> Hey, Derek, thank you so much for your time, brother. We really appreciate it. Anytime you want to send us any photos, we are happy to promote and you have a standing invitation. Anytime you want to jump on the sports arena or the NFL carousel and just, you know, have a debate or let's talk about it. Let's give our thought and opinion. That's what we do. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, no problem. I'd love to be back. So, yeah, thanks for inviting me on. All right, everybody have a great day. We will definitely talk to y'all soon.